Artificial intelligence has become a pretty hot topic over the last few years. Whenever a list of threats to humanity pops up out of some freelance writer's tiny dark apartment, AI is at or near the top of the list. But we've already got artificial intelligence from massive supercomputers that can dominate game shows and confuse human subjects over the internet. We've got preciously awkward robots that can descend a flight of steps and then jog in place while we all smile and give them cutesy names. Those aren't exactly the looming death machines that many articles and videos predict. So, are they just not advanced enough yet to cause real trouble, or are they missing some important key factor that turns cute into killer? Although it's undoubtedly true that AI machines become more risky as they advance, even a very nimble or a deadly machine is only dangerous if programmed to be dangerous. At that point, it's only a potentially lethal tool, like any number of others that humans have had for many centuries. What it's missing is autonomy, and that's where the real problems begin. Autonomous machines require programming to get started, but are then able to learn by themselves with without any human interaction. It could even decide that humans are just a nuisance that get in the way of some larger goal. The interesting part is that humans have to specifically grant machines the ability to be autonomous. All the science fiction stories that feature machines magically becoming self-aware aren't reality. No amount of complex logical programming can accidentally turn a machine into an autonomous destroyer. But all that changes if the machine is given the ability to learn and make its own decisions without receiving any input from people. If the machine is built to kill, like an autonomous fighter jet for example, it could, in theory, change its mind about targets and turn on its master. If the machine is able to autonomously communicate with others of its own kind, well, I'm sure you can see where that goes. Like many other burgeoning problems, though, there are people who appear to see this one coming over the horizon. Germany and Japan have made clear statements. Both countries agree that machines should not ever have the ability to make deadly decisions without human approval or at least human interaction. Both nations would be happy to see a worldwide ban on such technologies. And then there's the other end of the scale. Russia seems to love the idea of weaponized autonomous AI. In 2017, President Vladimir Putin said that whoever becomes the leader in this sphere will become the ruler of the world. China is also on board, and they're investing billions in AI overall. According to Elsa Kania at the Center for New American Security, China intends to achieve an advantage through changing paradigms in warfare with military innovation. The United States is also pouring money into the endeavor, and a temporary Department of Defense directive requiring all lethal decision-making to remain in human hands expired in late 2017. The US, the UK, and Israel all claim that a worldwide ban isn't necessary because they already have internal weapons review processes that comply with existing international warfare laws. You might ask yourself what those processes specifically entail, and that's a hell of a good question. It's not information that's available to the public, but I'm sure we can trust them, right? Virtually all of the 125 nations that have agreed to be governed by rules established at the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons agree that meaningful human control should be mandated. What the word meaningful actually means is, of course, still being debated. With an extremely vague term like that, you might expect it to be one of those things that's never truly cut into stone. And if actions really do speak louder than words, it already appears to be quite moot anyway. As things stand in early 2018, true machine autonomy might not be there yet in any case. Most allegedly autonomous cars that are currently in testing are really just advanced logic machines. They follow maps and make decisions from an available pool of options that developers provide them. Although they can adapt to some extent, they aren't learning in any kind of human context, and they can't choose to diverge from the instructions that they're given. In terms of cars, the word autonomy isn't really accurate, but it sure sounds great in marketing material. How that current visible state of affairs translates into the evolution of autonomous military AI behind closed doors is anyone's guess. Military budgets are exponentially larger, and adherence to regulations is often barely even lip service. So, autonomous soldiers could be right around the corner for all we really know. Nations want autonomous AI because it makes war easier and cheaper, especially once the technology matures. And without having to worry about killing its own population of soldiers, it might even become easier to get a nation's citizens on board. At a very shallow view, there's less at stake. Maybe that shallow view is why autonomous artificial intelligence keeps showing up on lists of existential risks to humanity. If you like this video, you know what to do. And subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.